What's going on DMG clan? Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your BSP D3 gaming controller to be able to play it with PlayStation 2 emulation in 2024. So let's learn so much more about the BSP D3. All right, so the first thing we need to do to actually connect our phone to our device is we need to hold down the B button on the actual BSP D3. We need to hold down the power button and let the light start flashing. Now on your Android device, you're gonna go to your Bluetooth settings. You're going to look for the one that says Xbox wireless controller, and then you're gonna click pair. Now mine says just wireless controller. It might say Xbox wireless controller. It depends on what version of the BSP D3 you have. And now we are fully connected. As you can see, the light has stopped. Now we're gonna just put our device into our actual BSP controller. All right, now that you've downloaded Aether SX2, which is found in the link in the description below, we're gonna open it up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to just rotate our screen just like so, because we're using it as a mobile gaming device. And we're gonna click on next. And you're just gonna click next again. And now this is all up to your actual device preferences. It depends on the device that you have. I have a powerful phone, so I can change all these settings accordingly. And I can change this to OpenGL or Vulkan. It's all up to you what your phone can actually handle. And when it comes to like PlayStation 2 games, I find two to three X resolution perfectly fine. Even though my phone is pretty powerful, I don't really see a big difference when it's upscaling any further than that. And that's up to preference again as well and how powerful a device that you actually have. Click next. Now you're going to import your BIOS. Now where you get your BIOS files, that's all up to you. And I know where to get them myself. So these are the BIOS files that I'm going to be using, which is the USA one and the PAL region one which you can see is a European one. And then I'm gonna click next. Now for my game directories, I'm gonna click on the plus icon. I'm gonna go down to where my emulation is located. So I'm gonna go to my emulation folder. I'm gonna go to my ROMs and I'm gonna look for my PS2 folder that has all of my games in it and click allow. I'm gonna click next, click finish. Now all of my games are gonna load in here. Now how to set up this controller, we're gonna click on the three lines. We're gonna to go to controller settings. We're going to go to touchscreen. We're going to turn the touchscreen off by clicking on touchscreen control and click none. Now we're going to go to controller port one and you're going to make sure that DualShock is set up and we're going to click on clear bindings. Click yes and then we're going to click on automatic mapping and select the wireless controller. Now if you don't like the way that this wireless controller is set up you can actually manually set up these configurations however you want. Now make sure that you go d-pad right is right and left is left. Triangle is actually triangle. Circle is circle and X and square are the same buttons as well. Now, if you wanna set up hotkeys, the hotkeys are located all the way over here and you can set up things like toggling fast forward, toggling your um, save states and stuff. Now, there's not a lot of button options for that because, well, we don't really have any button options for that because our joysticks are both used in this controller specifically. So we can't really set up any hotkeys or anything now, if you want to still use like save states and stuff like that, you can just click back on the actual screen on your device and it'll open up the menu for you and everything. Now for the actual device itself, if you want to set up your graphics and stuff, we're going to go to app settings here. We're going to go to graphics and you can change your GPU render based off of your device. Again, it's going to be different for everybody. Now aspect ratio is also up to you as well. So stretch to fit screen is up to you. If you want to do it that way, it's it's all up to preference. I like that. I never enable widescreen patches because I find that there's issues with widescreen patches. Now I use hot V-Sync and, no, not hot V-Sync, sorry, threaded presentation when I use a powerful device because it helps with the actual renderer. Now this is only going to work with Vulkan and some games work a lot better with Vulkan than they do OpenGL and I'm going to set that up for Vulkan. I'm going to show you some games don't actually work with Vulkan because the actual um, graphics and the, the shaders and stuff don't compile properly and you'll see like shadows and stuff with games like Jack and Dexter, for example. So once that's all set up, our main menu here, and I don't have Jack and Dexter, Dexter on this one, but we can actually just jump into a game and start playing how we want to play it with our BSP D3. Now, again, my phone is a pretty powerful device, so if your graphics seem like they're not working properly or if there's some issues with your game's loading, just crank down the, the resolution and let it actually thread on the, the background a lot better so that your game will run a lot better on 
your Android device. Again, this is only on the Android devices. I don't have guides or plan on getting any guides for um, any iPhones or anything. I'm sorry, but I don't support any Apple devices in my house. So that is why I don't bother with Apple. And there's so many other reasons why. So that is basically it in a nutshell of how to set up your BSP D3 gaming controller with your Android phone or your Android tablet or whatever you want to set it up with using the wireless controller mode, which I showed you at the beginning of this actual tutorial. Enjoy, have a nice day, go enjoy playing some PS2 on your BSP D3 in 2024. I hope you learned so much more.